Hello everyone, good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day, making some really good trades. And we can see that the Bitcoin right now is trending sideways, cooling off, consolidating after a nice uh, <laughs> you know, run up all the way up to 60, basically 63,000 as we can see on Bybit, it actually reached 63,700, uh, which is quite remarkable, almost $1,000. We had a huge wake up back to those levels. And right now, we can see that we are in a bit of a, a descending wedge right now. And we technically, we've already broken out, retested the support. So now, technically, we should be reaching the previous high, which is set at 62,500 right here or 62,700 if you want depends on the exchange that you're at but basically that's our target right here for breaking back up uh, I do have some short orders however on ethereum uh, we can see that I with entering in at 3960 would have been a, uh, an amazing trade right there uh, I am still looking at those levels maybe you are gonna get a quick pump back up and then a reversal down but I'm definitely going to be doing some live analysis today on Sunday and I'm very curious to see about that guy's video that he posted I did look at it over a few times but he has a significant amount of bearish videos throughout the bull run on his uh, on his YouTube channel I'm not discrediting anything he's saying but uh, he's, he's got some good points as well about how the market is going to top out soon but making bold statements like that can you know doesn't mean you're always right <laughs> You got to be careful what you what you talk about and yeah shorting from these highs is not a bad idea either yeah, especially after such a big run up but uh we'll see what we can make of it uh when the market when the overnight markets open at six o'clock and yeah let's just keep going on our analysis on bitcoin right now let's just take a look right here we can see that we are somewhat holding this line right here as support the Six, the sixty thousand dollar line. We did come down to sixty thousand two hundred before being bought up, bought back up, up to sixty one thousand. So we seem to be trying to fight the sixty one thousand eight hundred dollar level right here, as previously outlined. So those lines are actually pretty good, which is the, technically the previous top of this line right here. And then we got the all time high set at sixty four thousand nine hundred. So definitely looking really, really good. But uh, I'm, I'm going to be taking some some proper risk management if we do end up reversing back down to these lower levels like 57,000 if that's like a target because that's our previous support right there and if we can hold that then yeah I'll enter some longs there if we can't hold that we actually do go below start keep, keep breaking down uh, then yeah I'll be looking at uh, 52,000 but if this this this, uh, this pump continues and we keep going back up to the upside then I'm going to be looking at levels such as Let's take a look right here. It's a fib extension. We could see that we reached a perfectly a perfect target right there. If we keep pumping up, I'll be looking at new levels and price discovery levels at 77,000 and possibly 74,000. So between that range, 74 to 77,000, I'd be looking at some take profits for people to start take maybe start to sell some Bitcoin. But uh, yeah, all in all. We could definitely maybe expect some some rallies if it does break up from the previous high that we're definitely going to do some price discovery if we can't break above 62,800 then yeah definitely take take some take some proper risk management on your longs if you already have longs if you, it's not a bad idea to take profits either so yeah on the spot lines we could see, actually see that <clears throat> excuse me 62,800 is the resistance there if we could break above there then we got 65,000 and then we have 69,000 and from there on you could obviously make, we can make some more spider lines but the next one is set at 76,000 76, so different indicators and different trading strategies can obviously yield you different different targets but uh, always look at the closest one that's near that, that that's uh, that's like the closest one to you and if we if we if it proves any any type of resistance then yeah take action on your trade i saw some people were posting 200 leverage position trades today i don't know how that's possible i'm gonna look into it it's pretty funny and yeah we could see that our or uh hash ribbon buy right here on the spot market is still technically 
37% up. And we could also see that our investment challenge, VeChain, is actually popping off today, up 5.6%. So really good for us or everyone that followed me on that investment challenge. We're looking for great returns on the spot market on investing in altcoins. Anyways, uh, I'll give you guys a late night update today, tonight once the market opens and I see what's going on. And I'll keep you guys up to date. You guys have a wonderful day. Make some really good trades. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.